Completing the square is a technique for converting a non-factorizable polynomial of the form x squared plus bx plus c into the form x plus a half b to be squared plus k. Note that x plus a half b to be squared gives us x squared plus bx plus a quarter b to be squared, and hence k then must equal c minus a quarter b to be squared. So let's complete the square for x squared minus 8x plus 25. So here b is equal to minus 8 and c is equal to 25. And we want to express the quadratic in the form x plus a half b all to be squared plus k. So first of all b equals minus 8 so a half b equals minus 4. So x minus 4 all to be squared equals x squared minus 8x plus 16. So that means that k must be equal to 25c minus 16. Or simply 9. And hence x squared minus 8x plus 25 can be expressed as x minus 4 all to be squared plus 9. But how does this relate to integration? Recall that the integral of 1 over the root a squared minus x squared dx equals sine inverse x over a plus c and that the integral of 1 over x squared plus a squared dx equals 1 over a tan inverse x over a plus c. Hence let's consider the integral of 1 over x squared minus 8x plus 25. So we've just discovered that x squared minus 8x plus 25 can be written in the form of x minus 4 all to be squared plus 9. Hence our integral can be rewritten as the integral of 1 over x minus 4 to be squared plus 9 dx. Now if we use the substitution of u is equal to x minus 4 we have that du is equal to dx. And by noting that 9 is simply 3 to be squared, our integral can be rewritten as 1 over u to be squared plus 3 to be squared du. And now we have an integral of the form 1 over x squared plus a to be squared. And hence this can be integrated to give us 1 over a, so 1 over 3, tan inverse u over 3 plus c. And as usual, our final step after using substitution is to replace u. So our final answer is simply 1 over 3 tan inverse x minus 4 over 3 plus c. In our next example, we have the integral of 1 over the root minus x squared minus 6x minus 8. So firstly here, we want to try and complete this square. So if we take the minus sign outside, we have minus x to be squared plus 6x plus 8. In this case, b is equal to plus 6, so a half b will be equal to 3. So we can rewrite this as x plus 3 to be squared. Now x plus 3 to be squared will give us x squared plus 6x plus 9. So our k value is 8 minus 9 or minus 1. And as the minus sign outside the square brackets is multiplying this whole expression, we have minus by minus giving us plus 1, so 1 minus x plus 3 all to be squared. Hence we can rewrite the integral as 1 over root 1 minus x plus 3 all to be squared dx. So now if we consider the substitution u is equal to x plus 3, we have that du is equal to dx. And noting that 1 squared is simply 1, we can rewrite our integral as the integral of 1 over the root 1 to be squared minus u to be squared du, which can be integrated to give us sine inverse u over 1 plus c. And now finally replacing for u, we have sine inverse x plus 3 plus c.